Hi, welcome to this quick video where I wanted to demonstrate you how to double check if the VVX is in Sky for Business mode. So first of all, you will notice that the interface here is the open SIP interface. So you will see it from the different colors. So this is already a way to identify if the phone is in Sky for Business mode or in the open SIP mode. Now, you can also check in the menu and you can change in there. So if you click the home button, you see there the button settings. You go to advanced, you log in using four, five, six, enter. You go into administration settings, you go into network settings and all the way down you see here base profile generic. So if you want to change it in Skype for business mode, you see here the option Skype or link if you have an older version. You can change it here to Skype. Then you press the back button, you say save. So what will happen? The phone will now reboot and you will see that the phone will also get in that case the Skype for business look and feel. So it's very easy to identify, but always double check. I mean, on the 311 or on the 411 phones, eh, the VVXs, these are more uh, black and white eh, uh, color phones. It's always good to, uh, to double check because otherwise it's not able to authenticate to the Skype for Business environment. So as soon as the phone in Skype for Business mode is uh, being restarted, then you get the complete look and feel of Skype for Business. So you see all the coloring and the buttons is now in the Skype for Business look and feel. The top menu, same coloring, and if you press the home button, you can see that all the icons and everything is in the sky for business mode now what we need to do is authenticate the phone so we can sign in here so what we want to do is we sign here as um, user credentials there's also the online sign in which is used for office 365 and if you got pin authentication available it will also show you that in this case i don't have pin authentication available so i will use the online credentials so here you need to fill in your credentials filling your credentials is very easy it's just a matter of going into the sign in address you pick up a small keyboard here and here you can sign into the phone so in this case Amsterdam OS2 just the demo account at Polycom demo Com. So you see, very easy, and sign it off. So as soon as you got your sign in address, you got your user, you don't have to do your domain, this is usually for legacy environments, so it's just the sign in address, address and the user. Then we type in the password, okay, and we typed in the password using the keyboard, and we're all set, we just click on the sign in button and this should authenticate the uh, Amsterdam OS2 to the Skype for Business environment and this could be through the link edge or through the internal uh, network with the right DHCP setup all right so the next thing is we'll ask you to create a lock code so I will create a lock code for the phone this means when I walk away for a cup of coffee or something I can lock it okay so we got in the lock code and we're all set you see here now the whole phone is now connected to Skype for Business you see all the coloring the presence uh, you can set up a new call or forward a call or set up a meeting on the phone so that's also possible or you say do not disturb other features is my status uh, so you can change your own presence if you want uh, you can look for your contacts sign out the phone lock the phone 
and like I said if you grab a coffee you can make sure you can lock it and these are all the features available all the buttons are available if you got it integrated with the exchange also the same domain it will automatically retrieve and put a calendar button here so if you schedule a meeting through Outlook and invite the user which is logged into this phone you should be able to uh, to do the join now functionality so if I for example set up a meeting in my Outlook client I press the uh, join Skype button so you get all the information published here in the uh, in the field then we put in a subject and then we say send so if we then go back to the phone we're going to look into the calendar and what we see is we see the invitation right here you can just click it you get the click to join functionality so you just press the join button and you can easily access this Skype for Business meeting it's all very easy user experience look and feel you don't have to put any manuals next to the VVX it is uh, quite clear for a user how to use this uh, as a standalone phone on uh, the desktop.